Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hot Wheels Unleashed and we're going to start with the There Can Be Only One Race, let's see how it goes. The Prodigal Son, the Pad to the Blade car has returned. You can see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle car right in front, I love the car. But if you guys have missed the previous Hot Wheels Unleashed episode, I suggest you watch it. We didn't find the best of luck with the car in terms of the boost. And obviously, I just don't like the boost bars. I just prefer individual boost. I don't play the game enough to be calling myself amazing at it, but I, I play it enough to know I'm not horrible. But as a casual player, I just prefer the individual boost. They're a lot easier to use. They generate a lot nicer. The boost feels a lot stronger. But if you have any tips on how to use boost bars efficiently, please let me know in the comments. And let me know whether you use boost bars or you prefer the individual boost like I do. But Regardless of that, like I said, please tell me how to use it properly. No. Okay, okay, we messed up there. We kind of wasted two boosts at the same time, but we're back in first place. But yeah, like I said, let me know how to use it. Give me some tips, and I'll put them into action for you next episode. With the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle car, because I want to main it. We also have done a few fours and five videos. If you haven't seen, but you want to check it out, feel free to check it out. Actually, I apologize. It was two episodes ago which we decided to try the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle car and it took a while because last episode was actually a blind box roulette and I have so much fun making those videos just a fun little mini game to keep the game feeling fresh and it was oh my god if you haven't seen that I I suggest you watch it it's amazing the pull that we got in that video if you don't know what it is you just need to get a number generator and we use three blind boxes we use the first number generator to choose what blind box car we'll be using in the episode so one to three we got two and then you do the generator for the areas so basement skate park etc there's five of them one to five again and then in each area there's eight races so one to eight and then you go off that and you do that track and you try and see if you can win you get blind boxes if you win etc and for us oh my god the pull that we got was insane and it was the car we wanted to use i won't spoil it if you guys want to check it check it out It'll be in the uh, description below. Or just on the channel in the playlist as well if you want to check it out like that. Alright, so we're sitting in second place here. Not much has happened. Wow, well, we're in first place. It's just me versus the Sandy Ball here. Not much has happened. We're literally just in a one-on-one -on -one battle with the uh, Sandy Ball. Let's see uh, how this works. Uh-oh. Okay, it was a one-on-one. -on -one. It's now a... Uh, wait, did a car just hit the side pool there? It's actually the final lap, and I think that one slip-up has just cost us the race. Unless we can pull something out the bag here, which I don't think we can. We've got one more boost. Ah, second place is good, though. That was enjoyable. All right, now let's get into racing pros, and let's see how we can do in this race. All right, here we go. This, wait, why are we using this? Do I have to spam it? Come on. Yes, wait, huh? Why did that not give us three boosts? We got perfect, so why did it not give us three boosts or fill it up? They've changed that. I don't know if that's a new thing or if it's just on different maps, but usually you, you get a perfect start. You get all three, so I don't know what's happening there. We're gonna try and just race our race though. This looks like a cool map. A lot of cool little additions, a lot of environmental usage here, which I like. I like when it's more spread out. That was dangerous. We nearly flew off. The fans as well, the fans are getting a lot stronger. I think that's been changed because the fans didn't really do a lot to you. Now they actually, they actually move you about. I love this part as well. You can throw so much grips because it just holds you. All right, so we've got a bit of a gap here. I don't know whether we can hold that or not. The bump around is a good car. I do know that. Who's next? Rip Rod, Time of Taxi, and the Mountain Moor. Oh, no. That was scary. Let's not do that again. Oh, no. It's let him catch up as well. That's fine, that's fine. Ow! That's fine, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. We got this, we got this, boys. I think we got this. No, we don't. That's why we saved the boost, though, because now we're only sitting second. We can't mess up now. If we mess up again, I think that's the race done. Oh, that was scary. Now, the next video, I do want to test out. How do you get that? I couldn't even get that. I missed it. Oh. I want to test out the Snoopy car we got from the previous blind box opening. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's very good. Now, that's a little a little teaser for you guys because uh, Snoopy will be coming next. But if you want me to test out a specific car, let me know and I'll get it done. We have a lot. We have four Super Treasure Hunt cars. We've only done like we've only reviewed two of them. 
I also have the Audi Sport Quattro, so the Koenigsegg. Uh oh. The Honda S2000. Oh, we've just made them two wheel. There's a lot of cars that we have and we can test out a lot. So let me know which one you want to see next. And we'll get it done. Oh, fans, please. I hate that part because then you have the slippy part. Go away. I was going to try and push him off the edge there. Oh, I'm going to try and keep him stuck, but it didn't work. Okay, that's cool. Go away. Yes, we got it. And he did. He had to use boost, actually. So we came out better there. There we go. Drifted straight in front of him. Who's first? Bump around. Okay. Bump around. We're coming for you. We drifted that nicely. Got a lot of boost. Almost had three there. One's okay, though. Oh, no. Stay away from that. Are you kidding me? We were making ground, and then we just messed up. All right, let's try and hit this nice. That was good. That was very good. I like that one. We got another one coming. Move up. That was Bumper Round's fault. That was purely Bumper Round's fault. Genuinely, I don't know how... Oh, what the... Solid Muscle just decided to leave the map. Okay, now we know that there's one over here. I'm going to stay right. And I'm going to lean. Yes! Okay, that's how you get it. That's how you get it. You have to lean forwards a tiny bit. So if you're doing it, make sure you lean forwards. Now, we got one boost. We have another one coming. Oh, perfect. Three boosts in a row. All right, final lap. Now, we have Sandy Boar approaching us from behind. But we want to try and catch up to Rip Rod and Bump Around because those two are the cars that we want to beat. I do want to try and get first place. But I don't know where that's possible because I think they released a patch and they leveled out the difficulty of each one because sometimes it felt a bit weird. It didn't feel like they were in the correct levels because we were sometimes sitting fast very comfortably on expert difficulty but that's good that they've leveled it out it makes it a lot more competitive so you guys can have some more competitive videos and enjoyable videos i guess come on please 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 we're getting so close here we can do this side properly though so they really can't i just jinxed myself but there we go second place we have another boost coming as well i hate this part as well it always scares me that is we guys we both know I think we both as if you guys are just one person <laughs> <laughs> you guys know, as you've been watching, this part here is what ruins me, but we've actually managed to uh, do well there. Oh my god, Bump Brown's just had a little collision with the barricade there. Nice. Oh, I tried to take him out. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea, but I don't think he's going to be able to get this. He didn't. We got it. He can save boost. Now we're going to drift around. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, okay. Second place is good. Second place is good. All right, there we have it. Now, when we're looking at the statistics, these are the statistics for the Bad to the Blade. Very good for just the rare as well. Statistically, this is the one car that I think proves its stats in game. A lot of the other cards don't. Now, here, you guys can see we have the Koenigsegg, we have Kit, the Honda, Shark Cruiser, Skull Crusher, Sport Quattro, Bound Shaker. We have so many. If you guys want to see me do a car review on these, let me know which one you want it on. And I'll get it done. If you if you want to know other ones, we have the blind box opening. You can see a lot of cars in there. We also have the mini, the night shifter. There's a lot of cars. This one I want to test out as well. So get that done for sure. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.